Hey, Cedric. Uh, so you see Tyreek Hill uh, go down uh, last night. What is your immediate reaction as you then know you'll be taking on a larger role? Uh, my immediate reaction is just making sure uh, my brother's okay, just making sure um, that he's healthy and he's not, it's not nothing serious because I mean, when you see guys get tackled like that, it usually ends up very bad. So that was my first reaction. And then second is uh, just go in there and do my job, which is um, go out there and catch the ball when it's thrown to me and block my assignment. Omar? Obviously, uh, Cedric, this offense has been focused a lot on Tyreek, but how, how do things change when he's not in there, when he's when he's not on the field? How did that thing, how did it change for you guys in the game? Uh, I mean, I just feel like we weren't moving the ball. Rather, um, it was run or pass. We just weren't getting it done, and um, there was nothing much else to it. Perk? Hey, Sid, uh, talk to me about the mentality of this team. Um, you know, you guys were good last year during the five-game losing streak. You've seemed to bounce back very well this year. You haven't had any back-to-back -back losses. What's the locker room like today? What was it like last night, in, in your your opinion? I just feel like disappointment. Um, a lot of a lot of um, a lot of anger, just of what we left out there because obviously we came out struggling a little bit and then we kind of got it together obviously the lead that we built up and then we just didn't finish it so the frustration of um, incompletion was what we had and you can feel it throughout the guys I wouldn't say any guy any guy straight away from the overall goal but just frustration of um, incompletion and what about you know I know missing personnel is is part of the game, but the offensive line, you know, you you have all of that shuffling. You're missing uh, Jalen Phillips, who won't be back. Javon Holland, Jerome Baker, is that a legitimate explanation? Not an excuse, but a legit explanation for what happened last night. I mean, the explanation was not scoring um, enough points to win the game. Uh, that's the overall explanation. Um, when guys get hurt, I mean. Next guy's next guy's got to come in and perform, and I feel like the guys did it to the best of their abilities. Um, I would say the only part is that's probably difficult is the guys that are in. They don't. I mean, obviously, going doesn't get many reps in the game, so you kind of have to get comfortable when you're out there. That's probably the only, only overall difference. But um, obviously, the guys you're naming are top guys in the league, and if you don't have them in the game, obviously, there's going to be some different factors. But the guys that were in the game go out there and practice and try their hardest just as those guys do. So uh, we just didn't get the overall goal done. Thanks, Sid. Adam? Uh, you'll have to forgive me. I haven't had a chance to watch the film yet this morning, so maybe you can help me out. But when we saw Tua kind of reload a lot, like have to double clutch and then go up to a second or third read, uh, it would suggest that maybe sometimes they were doing a pretty good job not not allowing separation. Was, was that what you saw today was separation? Uh, something that can be improved upon? And if so, what did the, the Titans do to, to make that scenario? Uh, I'm not, I haven't um, fully went over with what Tua saw and what he didn't saw. So that would be have to be a question for him. I'm not going to answer for him. Um, but knowing him, if he clutched, I mean, it had it couldn't have been there because usually he hits, hits people when they're open. So um, like I said, you'd have to ask him that question. And um, the Titans, yeah, I mean, they they – did their defensive scheme and they played it to the best of their ability. And just like we go out there to practice, they came, they go out to practice and they executed what they wanted to do. David. Hey, Cedric, uh, Mike McDaniel last night noted a uh, red zone uh, inefficiencies, missed opportunities in the red zone as the number one reason uh, for the loss among uh, several, probably. Uh, what do you think wasn't going well in the red zone? And uh, in the same thought, if you can just speak to uh, your, uh, the third and two, uh, the two or through a fade to you, uh, the third and goal at the two. Um, uh, can you take us through that play too? Uh, I mean, yeah, the red zone, I mean, we have to come out with points, whether it's field goals, most of the time we need touchdowns. That's how you um, separate in the game. Um, so that's definitely a failed opportunity. I feel like for us, our goal is always a touchdown. So three points are obviously zero is always a failure. And um, you said the third and two, um, I mean, just missed opportunity. Uh, next time, hopefully we get it done. Perk. 
Hey, Sid, uh, a lot of times we hear that teams, when they're defending you guys, they try to make Tua throw outside the numbers and take away the middle of the field. Was that part of Tennessee's strategy uh, last night? Is that what you saw? Uh, I mean, yeah, I definitely saw them having a alert player from inside the numbers just roaming around trying to guess which end breakers we were running. Um, but, I mean, we definitely had some players out there that wish we can have back, and we just have to get the job done next time.